Oil has just hit $100 per barrel for the first time in eight years. It's a massive bull market that just refuses to top out. But will there be profit taking at the big number or does the war in Ukraine mean there's further to go? I analyse oil, gold and forex markets and run down this week's economic calendar. Stay tuned. GK Invest presents The Week Ahead. Hi guys, I'm Rich and a very warm welcome to The Week Ahead, where I analyse price trends and preview upcoming market events. Oil prices really are exploding higher now. It's looked odds on for a while now that oil would hit $100 per barrel and it happened this week. I'm sure you know by now it was triggered by the Russian invasion of Ukraine. But why exactly? Russia is the world's second largest producer of crude oil and the world's number one producer of natural gas. Major gas pipelines go through Ukraine to Europe carrying roughly half of Russia's gas supply to the Union. If the conflict escalates, it will likely become logistically impossible to keep those gas pipelines running, further increasing the demand for alternate fuels, i.e. crude oil, possibly pushing the price of crude even higher. However, uncertainty about Russia's invasion is keeping investors away from making risky trades into haven assets, which might limit some of the upside in oil. Gold, which is the ultimate haven, has jumped over $1,950 per ounce and is pushing up towards the $2,000 mark I discussed in last week's video. Stocks on the other hand are plummeting with the Dow Jones, S&P 500 and DAX indices all in correction territories, down 10% from their highs. In the forex market, traders are turning to the traditional haven currencies, including the Japanese yen, Swiss franc and the US dollar. Okay, before I turn to the economic calendar this week, let me know what's coming next in the quarter four earnings season. Apple holds its annual shareholder meeting, while Broadcam, Salesforce, Costco and Target report fourth quarter results in the US. While in the rest of the world, Bayer, Beidou and Domino's Pizza report quarter four earnings. Oh, and a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm by tapping that like button just at the bottom of your screen. Cheers, guys. So let's round things off with the economic calendar. So we have two major central bank meetings. The RBA is first and will likely just reiterate the new hawkish stance it took at the last meeting. But analysts seems to think that no extra guidance on the first rate hike will come just yet. If there were, it should be bullish for the Aussie dollar. The trucker protests in Canada have been all over the news, but likely won't deter the BOC from its planned tightening. No change in policy is expected, but but a surprise hike can't be ruled out. With oil over $100, this week's OPEC meeting will be all important. Increased production quotas might help slow the oil uptrend, but OPEC might opt not to be so reactive to the high oil price that generally favours most OPEC nations. Of course, we round off the week with non-farm payrolls. 400,000 extra jobs are expected to have been created in February, slightly down from the big positive surprise of 467,000 in January. Another solid report would help quell fears of stagflation after US CPI rose over 7.5%. Right, thanks everyone. Good luck trading this week and make sure you click on subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of The Week Ahead.